I would like to invite um, a man that is very influential in my life. And it's through him that I was inspired to stay connected to my roots. I would like to bring up my grandfather, Nian Ying Lord. My name is Nian Ying Lord. So I want to begin by uh, telling a little bit about the instrument um, that my grandfather has tonight and about why I'm wearing my mom clothes in order to honor my traditions. Um, so, my, so my grandpa's flute is called the Danblai. Uh, Danblai, uh, and depending on which region you are on, uh, which region, uh, which region that you are on as a Hmong person, um, your Danblai is going to be very different. On his uh, instrument, he has six holes in the front of the flute and a seventh one on the back. And I tried it, and it sounds really different from the flute that my sister plays in band. So. <laughs> But I really, I really honored that my grandpa and I will be performing tonight, and it is our first performance together. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the the, the uh, mong flu is made out of bamboo, and my grandfather says the origin of it is it, the flute is actually, uh, its usage is actually for courtship. And so uh, for a young man like my grandfather, back in the villages of Laos, he would carry it around. And whenever he goes and courts a lady, he would blow it, a few uh, verses of it, so that the lady will know that uh, her boyfriend is there. <laughs> and call and talk to him. <laughs> All right. Um, and then for my mom clothes, um, my grandfather is originated from uh, the region of Samnu. In Laos, depending on which region you are from uh, the country, you're going to have very different customs. And so as Mong Samnu, I'm also Mong Zai. Mong Zai is Strai Mong, and Strai Mong shows in the clothing that I wear. Uh, Traditionally, it, as you can see, it has the different stripes up here. Um, there's many other type of mong, like you can see grandma has a different type of uh, mong clothes and designs. And then um, I will be speaking uh, the white mong dialect later on in our performance. So just a little, uh, just a little education on the mong do, white mong, mong sai, straight mong, and which region I'm from. <laughs> We're going to listen to um, a little uh, clip from my grandfather. <laughs> Separate ways. <laughs> 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 
and you may all notice that tonight my grandfather is wearing um, a veteran outfit. Um, in the year, so during the Vietnam War, the CIA, American CIA, was sent to um, was sent to Laos, um, and the Hmong people, um, where General Vang Pao was the head. Um, he was asked by the CIA to be in charge of the Hmong people. Now the Hmong people's role was to guard, the, to block the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And, my, and at that time, young boys um, in their early teens were recruited to help the American CIA as they do their mission. And that's how, and that's how the Hmong people were persecuted by uh, the Russian government because they were helping the United States during uh, the Vietnam War. And so, yeah, what I see during the I was only ten. I was on the US United States side. Up into 1975. I was twenty five then. And when, when the United States decided to pull uh, its American troops back, uh, we had no choice to but to escape the jungles of Laos. And that's why they had to cross the uh, Mekong River in order to get to Thailand for safety. So tonight, I mean, the piece that my grandpa and I are going to collaborate on is called Bei Hai Mong Veterans, which is our Hmong veterans. And I wrote this piece especially to honor our Hmong veterans who have sacrificed their lives so that we, so that our Hmong youth could be here, which is why I could be here. And um, this piece is very special to my heart. I'm also part of our campaign right now with the home organizing program to win the veterans benefits for our home elders. So it is my hope that we will bring this to the capital and this will pass and our home veterans will be honored rightly. So. Run, we run. 
time from soaring bullets through dangerous turns. The forest will be high and thousands lost their lives, having no control over this genocide, searching for a place to call our own. And now we consider America our home. Thank you. 